the worst match I have ever seen. I, I, have I told you this? Is it Jenna Maraska? Yes, yes. Jenna Maraska. And have, have you found that tape? Yeah, I know where it is. I've been threatening to show you that for so long. And we've, oh, we and we've just not see, done it. We we got to see that. But it's, but it's coming, folks. It's do you want, coming. Do you want to close out the podcast with it? I can find it very quickly. I've got it saved. Well, if you want to. Okay, I'll pause one then, minute. Oh, go on. No, this has to go down as the worst televised match in pro wrestling history. The only one that comes close to it, I don't think is available now, and it's any George Goulas ma <laughs> <laughs> match from Nashville. <laughs> but this one here is... is I was actually thanking Booker T's wife for just getting through the match. It was horrible. So I, I, I put my stamp on it. I want you to see it now. Okay, bear with me one second. All right, Dutch, we're back. And let's just rewind at time. I need to put the volume down as well. You are torn because of Jenna Maraska. That's her on the way to the ring. Look at that outfit. So, so this was the girl from Survivor. She's wearing the she's wearing shoes that she got. She's basically doing like the ludicrous stripper routine. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Well, <laughs> Darmel, what what a look! Sorry, video watchers. I've uh, had to overlay a bit of a logo on this because even though we are reviewing it and we are uh, legally entitled to use this footage, there is automatic content ID to be aware of that they might try and take it down. So, Well, this match with the infamous... When was the last time you watched this? When was the last time you watched it? Oh, I don't know. I think I watched it. I don't know, three, four years ago. <laughs> and Charmel, I felt sorry for Charmel. She's not a worker either. No, but she still is better than Jenna Maraska. Now, neither one of them are wrestlers. Let me say, let me say that. They're not trained. And, and not, not very good strippers either. Uh, she would file bankruptcy if she went to a strip joint. <laughs> I mean, they would... I, I like the I, I like the footwear, but this is. Do you, do you know Dutch? I've is, never seen this all the way through. You, you've never seen it. I've never seen this. Well, this won't make you a believer. <laughs> so she. Oh, <laughs> uh, if you've never seen this, ladies and gentlemen, this just has been known as the worst possible wrestling match mm. of all time. Right, uh, you'll have to give us some more play-by-play. -play. They were doing the camera thing like in WWE where they go whoop, 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 whoop. And I don't know where that come from either. I actually, I, I made a request stop it. Yeah. You give if people have, you know, you can give them a headache doing it. Oh, this is the six sides six-sided ring, which was horrible for guys to get used to. Instead of going at 90 degree angles, you're going at, I don't know, you're going at 65% angles. And it's hard to work. Did you see these two trying to practice thing, this thing out? Uh, I tried to avoid it because this wasn't my match. But they did at least and, attempt to practice it, did they? Oh, yeah, they, they tried, but they just... Let me put my stamp of disapproval on this. <laughs> I, I never approved this match. I knew what it would be. I think we put it out there with <clears throat> with Kong. I don't know what Morosco had to do with Kong or. Oh man! Did you see oh, look that, at that. body? See, boy, that Earl's. He's counting. He's trying to count and get it over with. Thank you, Earl. I want to point out that when um, Charmel threw Jenner into the ropes, the ropes didn't move. And then when she bounced back off, she actually did it in like a crescent moon shape instead of just like straight back and forth. Oh. I mean, I, I sat and watched this and I hid from the fans so they couldn't see me. 
because you can look at the look at their faces. They're going. The only thing that's probably intriguing them now is that's mostly a male crowd. Males will watch anything with half-clad females in it. But so they're just there's nothing to yell about. There's nothing to cheer about. So I don't know. <laughs> what the hell was that? And I'm gonna tell you, Char Charmel, not to have any any training isn't that bad. But she just didn't want to. She didn't want to wrestle. I don't blame her. He was sort of strong armed her into wrestling. Them was this a Russo thing? Because because he he loves making women who aren't wrestlers wrestle. Well, this. Uh, Again, I'm going to put my stamp of disapproval on this. I mean, it wouldn't have been so bad if it was halfway decent. It's not even that. To me, I think you disrespect your own fans. By, by a show, and and I, I guess this was on a pay-per-view, I guess. Oh, yeah, they were charging people money for this. Current, cold, hard currency they were charging. Well, they weren't charging. Well, I guess, I, I guess the pay-per-view was like... $30 or $40? Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got to watch those slaps again. Oh, let's watch it. Watch this. Not, not from Charmel. It was, it was Jenna's. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay, fans, son. Uh, now you can kind of get the point. Oh, she's mad now. Oh, oh my we're nearly God. at the finish as well. Should we? Let's just skip to the finish. What was that? Wow! I look at no look idea. at this mounted. Ah, oh, that's atrocious. And it's also, not that good. Sharma it's not like a plucked good. chicken, like like blue feathers everywhere. Uh, let's skip to the uh, let's skip to the uh, the very very lewd pin. Oh look! Oh. I mean, even Earl's just staring at it going, oh, there you go. Well, folks, there you had it. The worst match. I, well, I have a few matches about as bad as this, but not me personally, but I, <laughs> I've, I've seen them. But but we can't blame Charmel for that. You can only work with something that's working with you and, Mr. Jenna Morosco wasn't working, but again, it's not her fault too. The fault lies in the people who booked this. But Jill yeah, Dutch, you were there. You booked her. Uh -oh, I did, oh. but I did. I didn't book that match. I bet somebody saying, "Damn, that Dutch don't take credit for shit. He don't take <laughs> credit for nothing." Mm -hmm. But if you know intentionally, uh, or if you know beforehand that the match is going to be a, an abomination, why would you book it? Yeah. So, and I told him, I said, I, I think I have, I said, unless this is heavily produced and shortened down to about, with entrances and everything else, to be about four to five minutes, you may get by with it. Mm. Asking them to go nine minutes or how, how long they went was is beyond their scope. And they uh, couldn't do it. So, uh, and next week it is. Next week we'll be uh, watching the best of Johnny Fairplay. I think. Oh my God! <laughs> he was a he was he was a trip. <laughs> we'll save him for next week. We'll save him for next week. Hey, but for and, wait a minute, and but she was Survivor, and Johnny Fairplay was too. So someone was a big Wasn't fan of Survivor then. I guess somewhere. And it could have been on, it could have been on that station too. I'm gonna have to. What station were we on? Uh, Spike, wasn't it? Spike, Spike TV. Was Survivor on that? I don't know. I can Google check, it for you. Check it out, and we'll we'll tell them next week. Yeah, we'll tell you next week. But anyway, we probably won't tell you next week. We will have forgotten by then, I assure you.